Hey you guys, it's Ivy and today I'm doing a highly requested video. You guys have requested orange hair of me so much, so I finally gave in and did it. So the hair we're using today is from IndianHair.net and this is their beautiful natural curly. It's so nice. Right now it's, you know, all fluffed out. So the first things we're going to need is some bleach and we're going to use gloves. You always need gloves. Then we're going to be using a 40 volume developer. You need a bowl and a brush as well. And you need some tin foil. So I like to do three scoops of the blue based bleach because it lifts so well. And then I use three ounces of developer. And you just want to mix this up good. I like using three ounces because I like it to have a creamy consistency, a creamy kind of runny consistency so it can get through the hair well. Now this is not the exact curl pattern of the hair. You won't see these beautiful curls pop until after I've washed it and all of that good stuff. Once your bleach is mixed well, as you guys can see here, you want to go ahead and paint it all through the hair. Now I just did random sections. I, at first I was gonna make it a solid um, orange color, but I decided, no, I kinda want it to be like ombre-ish. So I kinda went all throughout the hair and in some parts I used um, a heavier application of bleach and this is gonna allow those sections to actually lift a little bit lighter, which is really cool as well. If you didn't know that, you apply a little bit more bleach to certain areas like I'm doing right here, it's going to be a lot lighter right there. And I did this so it can be um, different tones of orange, so it's not so one dimensional. Once I'm done applying the bleach, I just rubbed it through. And as you guys can see, it already started to lift before I was even done applying it everywhere. And then I just wrapped tin foil over it. I let it process for about 35 minutes. And this is the result. The hair was still a little bit wet right here, but the curls aren't messed up or anything. They're not damaged. It still looks healthy. This hair from IndianHair.net is amazing. And now I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Fair Color. I think I used uh, Deep Copper, I think, or Warm Copper. But this color is absolutely beautiful. You can get this from Target, Walmart, Walgreens, whatever but i love this color and it's so nice it is a permanent hair color so you just mix it up shake it up real good and i just painted it all throughout the hair and that was pretty much it i let it sit on the hair for the box says 25 minutes on processed hair but i let it process for about 45 minutes i wanted it to be very rich and just a really pretty orange color now i was surprised i love this color you guys because I feel like orange on dark skin makes you look like a Reese cup package, but my mind was totally changed today. I absolutely love this color. I will be repeating this color for some fall hair or something like that because it's absolutely gorgeous. I did only use one box of hair color. It was enough for the whole entire unit. And I did use two bundles and a closure on this unit. And this is the end result, you guys. It is so beautiful, I promise you. The camera isn't doing it justice um it's just amazing hair overall like look at the curls look at these curls like indianhair.net curly is so bomb i did a review on i believe their signature curly a few months back probably a year ago and that was gorgeous and this is just as gorgeous these curls see how they draw up and shrunk up i'm just overall completely satisfied with the color job and also the quality of the hair from indianhair.net and it is so affordable you guys and this is only two bundles in the closure like this hair is super full and it's just so soft it's really really pretty hair you guys so make sure you check the description bar all the info you want will be below thanks so much for watching you guys and i will talk to you guys soon